of Capricorn. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. This is going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, any obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. So keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with, somebody around you. So flip it, I need to. Also remember, it's a general reading. So just take what's yours, leave the rest behind. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Also, if you like to contact me for a personal reading, that's below as well. All right, Capricorn, what's coming up, please? You got the world, the higher friend, the seven of pentacles, making changes slowly but surely. All right, so you got the king of pentacles. Your energy could be dealing with another earth sign. Immediate future for Capricorn, please. The Ten of Cups. Ooh, okay. Too many. One more for Capricorn, please. Oh, the Three of Swords. All right. The Three of Swords is there for the outcome. So hopefully that's going to kind of turn around because that can be a card of pain, heartbreak. In the middle of it all, we have the Ten of Cups, which can represent your emotional fulfillment. So let's see. This could be another person that you're dealing with who's you know, really missing you, hurting you, or hurting over you. Hopefully not hurting you. Show me those King of Pentacles, please, for Capricorn. You got the Four of Swords and the Death card. Scorpio energy. You've been doing a lot of healing. You went through a lot of transformation. It could be like resting, recovery. But with the death card there, that's that's Pluto energy. That's a planet of forgiveness, release, allowing transformation. So that this is backwards energy. We're, we're going from healing. Why are we ending with pain? It looks like somebody down here has not been... It could be a rejected apology, but also kind of not following their feelings or what it is that they want. Show me this Ten of Cups, please. The Ace of Wands and the Nine of Swords. You got somebody over here stressing. It's possible it's a fire sign, but this there's like a thought of something here. With the Ace of Wands, this is somebody who's doing like a lot of thinking, passionate about something, but there's also a lot of worry and anxiety. So coming in is around the obstacle, the lover's Gemini energy. You could have a choice here, um, but also it's it feels like something that you're very attached to, but it may feel like for some, like something's coming in the way. So we had all this healing. You could have been meditating a lot in kind of a transformational period. And now it's the obstacle with the Nine of Swords. There's a lot of stress around something that somebody is thinking about. Feeling very connected to. The lovers can be a choice card as well. There's that Two of Pentacles. So yeah, something could have been kind of back and forth or just kind of weighing even on your mind. A choice, a decision, kind of going all in around that. But it's about divine timing. And also, that's with the wheel, that is a card of destiny and fate. But this is either not being all in or uncertain around a situation, but stress and anxiety are kind of taking over. Show me that um, Three of Swords for the outcome. You got the Queen of Cups. Could be dealing with the Water Sign. And the Five of Cups. Damn, this is a complete, like, change around. And not in, like, the best of feeling ways. Over here, we had a lot of healing and feelings of kind of recovery and comfort. And over here, we're ending with a lot of disappointment, feeling let down. Could even be, like, embarrassment and shame type thing. But there, unfortunately, is a lot of pain around this outcome. After a time of calmness and things kind of going good, somebody's mind kind of goes into play. 
you know, somebody could have options or kind of be on the fence or just not really sure where things are right now, but something is on somebody's mind. And with the Ace of Wands, tell me about that Ace of Wands. It could be work related for some. Show me that Ace of Wands. The Three of Pentacles again. It's like something that you want to work towards around work or, you know, career. It could be something that you're trying to take, pu take public. But around a person, you know, um, could kind of be like minimal effort. The feelings are real, though. So give me one more for the outcome for Capricorn. You got the judgment, the seven of swords. There could be a decision that's kind of being made. Is, is how it feels and it looks like at the end of this with the judgment it's about making sound decisions but it also feels like this is a situation that like you know you healed from once before peace was made with something once before um even like if if, if it was like a wrongdoing that was healed you release that and now it's kind of like this worry this anxiety or a decision that somebody's making it's coming into play and it's causing a setback all right capricorn i hope this helps if it resonated please make sure that you like and subscribe below if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading that's below as well you guys take care and i'll see you next time